Anyway, we're gonna show off the dice collection and then we're gonna go back to grinding in Kingdom Hearts, okay? Is everyone okay with that? Yes, yes, good. Yep. Okay, hold on. I had to move my keyboard because my keyboard. Because, fun fact, guys, the money that goes to my dad. Oh, no, hold on. Hold on. Studio mode. Deactivate. Art stream. Yes, the sexy, sexy bat. The bat fabric is back again. Look at it. Look at its sexiness. <laughs> anyway. Uh, fun fact, folks, the money that goes from the subathon is going towards the cat need the new fucking desk! I need more room. Guys, why are you muted, Vi uh, Muted says, you, you can talk in the- Oh, are you talking to someone else outside the VC and you don't want them to pick you up, or did your mic break? Anyway, we want are you guys ready for the dice collection? Me. Okay. New desk. Yes, I need a new desk. Uh, give me a second. Let me just get some background music for us. Where is the lovely white bat audio, who might love dearly? Platonically. I write the word W in the YouTube chat, and she goes, You want white bat audio? Yes, please. I know I should use something more fantasy, but I don't think he ha they have anything fantasy-based. Uh, horror, horror... Suspenseful. Hey, what kind of music would work for showing off D&D &D dice? Nostalgic? Nostalgic. Nostalgic. I was also thinking of the jingle from, uh, any Kickstarter ever. Yes. Anyway, hello! Yeah, I try to stick to, uh, white, white bat audio because that music I know is safe for me to use. Ikubot is semi not working. Anyway, so everyone, since we hit 50 subs on my subathon goal, I get to show off. Hold on. Hold on. Oh god, there's so much dust on it because I don't play D&D in person as much anymore. I get to show off. Enjoy that satisfying thunk. I love that satisfying thunk. Um, my D&D dice collection. We're being raided by Chibata Boy. Hello. Oh, why didn't the raid music for over 10 and up happen? Oh, I know why. I actually do know why. It's because the settings for this overlay is different than the settings for the other overlay. Hello, everyone! Can someone please give? Never mind, someone's already done that. Hello, hello! Greetings, foolish mortals! Tis I cat! These are my hands when I'm in flesh form. And we are about to show off my D&D dice collection because we are currently on day two of my birthday subathon and we already hit the goal. Well, we hit it yesterday. Of me showing off my D and D dice collection. Well, my dice collection in general. Uh, Welcome, Raiders. Hello, Fire. You're oh, hello. You're back. Good. Fire. Yes. Did. Says is not here yet. <laughs> well, says is here, but not in vocal spirit. So I'm showing off my D and D dice collection. Which yes, this is my bag. I'm fully aware that says is much larger than mine. Says I think currently you're third place in dice goblin and in, in the dice dragon thing, if I remember correctly. Says is not here to respond back, because I know Vyre's- it's- Vyre and GM are currently, like, they're always fighting for first place, so they're basically first and second, respectively. And Says is always, like, coming in behind with tiny knives about to kill people. Anyway. Thank you for the happy birthdays, Chibata boy. I'm very grateful. By the way, if you don't know who I am, I am Kat, a member of Mythical Menagerie, a feline-based chaos entity variety VTuber. Some days we do games, some days do art, and right now I'm showing my dice collection. Anyway. Because it was part of the subathon goal. Also, please ignore the gech on my these dice. These are old and ancient. Um. So, shall we begin? Did someone say something, please? Because I keep worrying my internet keeps. Oh, look, the kitty! <laughs> oh, my youngest fan. Hello, young Gitani, his fan who can't watch my streams yet until much older. Oh. Anyway, thank you all for the raid. By the way, uh, Chibata boy, I don't I mind if you raid him. I don't mind if you raid and run, you have to, you know, do your post thing things. I smell click clack rocks. Yes, you do. Okay, let's start this show off. Hold on, let me just hydrate. Old and ancient, that's real. So, this is my very first dice set in its original container. Fun fact, originally this was called Dice Jail because I kept getting shit rolls. This is the very first set I've ever owned, and they're currently in what I fondly call dice retirement. I don't know if the camera will be able to show it. Ugh. I know, I'm taking you out of the box. It's been so long. I know, little guys. 
Um, see if I can show if it can What's show it on hmm? can show it on camera. Dice. Yes, they're dice. Um, Whoa. okay. And they got Sorry, he's, he's going dice. I know he's a little tabletop player in the making, and I can't wait for him he's... to grow up. I saw numbers in it as well. <laughs> By the way, for those who are wondering who that cute little adorable bean is, that's Fib's kid. Um, my youngest fan, as we jokingly call him. So anyway, so this is my first set, and they are—they were originally just in perma jail, but the actuality is now perma retirement because I have discovered this. Um, these were made by um, uh, these are Chessex dice. If you happen to be, I think you guys can tell from the box, these are Chessexes, and um, so you guys can't see it on this camera. But my D20 has a massive bubble, like a massive bubble, which kept giving me shit rolls. I did the, um, I did, I did the dice balancing test that you do with uh, salt water. And, um, these things are fucking unbalanced. <laughs> and so this is, um, these are unbalanced. I cannot use these proper, I can't use at least the D20 for properly for games. And I think I can't use the D6, no, D6 is fine. But anyway, massive bubble. Um, they're Chessex dice, and like, and so whatever, and so they are basically what is called permanent retirement. They are they stay in their container and they stay on my shelf. <laughs> they do not leave. I keep my di I do not throw them away. I did not get rid of them. They are my little dice that are currently just retired. They are retired. They will not be used for any game. They're just used for display only. And if they weren't so heavy, one of the the, the D twenty would be a pair of earrings. Anyway, um. A uh, funny, a uh, fun fact. Uh, whenever I deal, because I'm, I follow a bunch of dice makers, and I have a few dice from, that they've actually made. Um, I follow dice makers, and they get the one question that you always hear them get, and they're very fucking annoyed getting it. By the way, so please stop asking them this question. The stupid question: Are the dice balanced? Here's a fun fact about dice balancing. I'm gonna give you a little uh, information. Sorry, I'm getting the bags within bags out of my bag bag. Yo, oh, wizard. Um. Sorry, I have bags within bags, so give me a second. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a problem. Why do I have a doll? Oh yeah, it's my lucky dollar. Don't ask. Um, so I have bags within bags within bags. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll shut off the ones that are in bags first. Um, actually no, we'll show the ones that are not in bag first. Um, so uh, the dice balancing thing bullshit that you keep getting from assholes who are like who don't trust homemade dice. Fun fact, unbalanced dice are more common in machine-made dice. So, uh, Chessex, for example, you have higher... Yes, that's big. That, that's the Doom Rock. We'll talk about her later. Um, so if you ever uh, buy dice that are basically mass-made, you have higher chances of it getting the bubbles and the unbalancing. First dice set, first dice set is the example. Um, that's why they're retired. But if you get dice that are handmade, like these things right here, um, the chances of you getting a bubble in them and getting them unbalanced is slim to none. Because one, if there is a bubble in them, the dice maker remakes the dice because they want to give you a quality fucking product. And two, they do ba they do a lot of preventative pre uh, bubble preventative measures and they do a lot of research and math to figure out how to make these dice the best they possibly can. Unlike mass producers who are just going to make a shit ton of dice in a small period of time. Does everyone understand that? Please say yes. While I grab my dice. Yeesh. All right. So fun fact: some of my dice sets have nicknames. Some of them don't. Um, but I will. I'm just gonna just behold my sadness. My dice collection. Uh, this is Bertha, by the way. This is Big Bertha. She's my massive D20. I sometimes use her whenever people are trying to be like, I can't see the number. Oh, you can't. I have a dice tray, but it's currently being sat upon my plushies. Oh, that was a shit roll. Shit roll. This table is unbalanced. <laughs> Bib, Albuquerque hasn't been taking care of themselves. Go get food and drink. Now, some of these dice have stories. Some of them don't. Um, and they're all just crammed in a bag. I don't put them in like... Only certain ones get special baggies. You'll see why in a second. Um, so... This is mostly cats shuffling through her dice collection right now. Okay, so these are my metal ones. These are my, uh, these are, I'm showing these in no particular order of when I got them, because some of them, I can't remember what I got them. 
Um, the biggest dice, maybe the largest. I have seen bigger. Um, smoking glue guns. I know uh, she makes handmade dice, and what she does with her leftover resin from projects is put them in these things called big chonkers. They're 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 bigger than this die, okay? They're massive and heavy, and I sit here going, I could kill someone with this. I can't. <laughs> I've made the joke at her table once, going, I can't buy this. I go, you could kill someone with this. I'm sorry I can't buy this because that temptation is bad enough, is hard enough with my players. Um, anyway, these are my... This is the worst idea you've had, Cat. You should not do this. They might fall off the table if you do this. Uh, okay, dice, dice. Okay, they behave. Okay, there they are. So these are what I call my metal, my uh, my purple marble dice. They don't look marbled as much anymore because of years of usage. The marble pattern, which was just printed on, is gone. <laughs> these are my purple marble dice. They're very hard to read. I am fully aware of that. Again, this is one like one of the first sets I bought myself. Yeah, so many. Again, I am not dice goblin king. Uh, and by the way, if anyone has any questions about the dice I show off, please tell me. Um, so these I got for um. <laughs> I can't remember how much I got them. And these are some... They they originally were much brighter purple and had a, uh... They had, a like, a marbling-like pattern printed on them. And from years of usage and fingers... And fun fact, we have acid in our finger... In my, in my sweat. It just turned into this, and they're basically unreadable unless I'm in a well-lit room. So this room, not one of them. Hi! Speaking of that, there are dice on my throne account if you want to buy me some. Okay. Oh, this one's my fa one of my favorite sets. Only because I love the nickname I called them. Uh, let's see if I can find the rest of them in the set. Yes, I am. Okay, so this one, this set, right here, I fondly call... I call Deadly Colgate because it looks like Colgate Toothpaste. Uh, there's another set from a local dice... The, the local game shop I bought these from. Um, they had another set which were basically this blue and white, and I call, said it looked like Colgate. And they were shocked I never bought those, and I was gonna buy them, but they're now no longer bought. I know you bought me a dice set. It's in one of these bags. I keep them in a bag because they're metal. Um, I call this dead. I call them Deadly Colgate because they're black and Colgate blue. Because I have a horrible test sense of humor. Um, everything okay? By the way, on the voice uh, on the voice yes. end. Okay, sorry. You just you're not saying anything or reacting or I'm anything. I'm observing. You can say some things and ask questions. I'm so quiet. I get nervous when people are quiet when I'm showing things because it makes it seem like they're you know not interested. Um, so, this is a burnt blue, shiny, sparkly one, and there's also, uh, the other set, right here. These I bought at the same table at a convention, um, there is this guy, and I can't find the fucking- I wanted to try to find their, um, I know I got their picture- Somewhere. I got a picture of their info and everything from the con. Uh, there are these people who sell, um... Uh, the largest day ice I've ever seen was around 10 to 20 pounds. It was a doorstop for a game shop's front door. Okay, doorstops don't count! Hello, oh, Arcleon. Welcome to the dice showing set before we go back to Kingdom Hearts. Um, so these two sets I bought at a convention at a table. Now, no, they did not make these sets. These are definitely ones that are, like, those mass-produced ones, so who knows how big the bubbles are in these. But, um, it was a table I was partially working as the unpaid intern. This is how I got paid. I bought dice. Um, no, I bought these. I didn't get given these. Um, they were basically, they sell 3D-printed, uh, dragon eggs, which can hold dice in them. They also make grenades, and they also make the, D the, the D20 that holds the, the, the holy D20 grenade. Which was really awesome. That thing can hold a lot of dice. And as a wonderful magnet, it's a function that goes like so. God, I still can do the thing. Um, and they were also selling dice for people who wanted to buy some. And you would get a set of dice if you bought, like, the 3D eggs. I never bought the giant 3D eggs because I'm like, where the fuck am I going to put this thing? But they also have a grenade one. And originally they made the grenade one for uh, people who play Warhammer. But then when he told them it only holds this many set of dice, they were like, the Warhammer player was like, yeah, that can't hold our ma that that can't hold it, that can't hold it. It's like, because he did it for so little. But it's a dice grenade. 
Um, and these are the sets of dice I bought from them because I didn't have any blue sets or green sets and I wanted some blue sets and green sets. Because if you haven't noticed, there's a slight pattern of using a lot of black and purples. Can you guys tell that I like a certain set of colors? Yeah, also those are very, very lovely dice. Yes, they're very lovely. They're sparkly. They're very sparkly. The yeah. camera can't pick up the sparkle, but the blue sparkly ones. Uh, yeah, I got, I got to step out by the way. It is time to go do, do those errands I told you about. Okay, be safe. I'm gonna just be over here, just showing off my dice collection. Oh, yeah, there's another one of the deadly coal gates. What are you doing over there? Get over here. No, uh, they'll, be, they'll be playing screaming. Okay. Bye. I'll be back later. Bye. Uh, this I think is the third set I ever bought. Yeah, first set was that one. Second set was the those dice that I put away that I basically way too fancy, and I used them and they got ruined. Um, no wait. That's the fourth, the, the fancy, the, those marbly dice were the fourth ones I ever bought. The, uh, this set is the fourth set I ever bought. This is the third set, and this was the second. Yeah, I remember my shit. I remember this shit. Oh, can you see us? Can you sense a pattern again? Hey, Kat, what are your two favorite colors? Uh, black and purple. Can you tell? Um. Uh. I had 140. Yeah, that's why I don't do Warhammer. There's other reasons why I don't do Warhammer, but that's a good reason right there. Uh, these are my two, the second set of sets I bought. Fun fact about this set, it glows in the dark. It's not been out in the light enough for it to glow anymore right now, I think. Yes, I'm doing the cup around. Yeah, they need to be in the light longer for them to glow. These guys glow in the dark. I think they glow blue, if I remember correctly. And these are just another set of basic black and purples. I don't really have a lot of fancy dice. Lot, the really fancy dice comes later in those boxes. Because one of them, Vire bought me, actually. And Codex bought me a set. And this is the set my mom got me for my birthday two years ago. Um. Anyway, here's another... Um, I'm just grabbing just random sets. Uh, these dice are my... I uh, uh, need a name. They had a name. But she who shall not be named shall not be used as a name set for a set of dice anymore. Okay, sorry. The thing in the she who shall not that was created by she who shall not be named is not getting a dice set name. I have to think of a new dice set name for them. They're black and silver and green. I'll give you three guesses what they were a reference to. Um, let's see. Yeah, so they're these dice. Hold on, camera up, zoom, zoom, zoom. So yeah. They're black, silver, and green. I'll give you three guesses what these things were most likely a rev reference to. It's okay, Z Zombie Sheshar. It's fine. Don't worry. Um, I'm going to take this VOD and edit it so I can just do like a, a solo dice showing stream. This dice showing video so I can show my dice off that way properly on YouTube. Don't worry. Um, now, this are my Ign these are my Ignis dice. I call them Ignis after Final Fantasy XV Ignis. Hey, Fib, ask me why I named them after Final Fantasy XV Ignis. Fib. I've been muted. <laughs> You've been muted this whole time. Do you have any comments you wanted to say about any previous dice while you were muted? <laughs> ADHD brain. Uh-huh, I know. Anyway, so do you want to know why these are called the Ignis dice? Explain. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can zoom it in all right properly. When I bought these, I thought they looked like his shirt. You see oh, how they... Fuck. Yep. You, you can see it, right? Yep. These are my Ignis dice. These are my babies. I call them Ignis. They're adorable. Anyway, uh, this one's called my po my poisons and toxins dice. They're uh, purple and green and gold. So they're poisons and toxins. I'm trying to. I need to do better zoom ins on these. See, they're purple and green, like poison and toxin. The venoms, if you will. Night, 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 night. Um, let's see. Uh, these are just some boring black dice. <laughs> these are just some basic smoky black dice I own. <laughs> some of these, I told you, some of them have stories. Some of them don't. Some of them, I'm just like, I need serotonin. I'm just going to buy some dice, okay? Right? Um, yeah. So these ones, which I call root beer, because um, look at them. Look at these things. Tell me they don't look like root beer. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Uh, this, now, this side is what used to be one of the big oddballs of my sets until I bought those sparkly blue ones. Um, and people always go, Cat, why do you have a side of dice that are root beer? That are like root beer? And I go, well, so, uh, 
Hold on, I'm saying if the candle- No, the candles are- the candles are not out of my reach. Um, so I bought on Etsy a D&D themed- D&D- D&D D a D&D themed candle, right? It's called Furbolg's yeah. Bakery. It smells like blueberry muffins, it's great. Um, I wish I got another one. So every purchase of those dot of those, um, candles got you a free set of dice. Was that a reason why I bought those dice? B bought that candle? Maybe. I also wanted the candle. The dice were a bonus, and this was the dice that came with them. Um. Okay. Now, these are funny dice. These are, these have a funny story. Um. So these dice, I bought at a convention again. And I was looking at them, and, um, you're gonna see Cat's anxiety and ADHD at work right here with this story. Um, I bought them, I was looking at them, and I said the phrase, and I quote, These look like frog spawn! Oh, god. Oh, god. <laughs> you can see where the frog spawn looks, right? Yep. So I said that out loud. Person who ha was selling them was right in front of me, and I go, uh, hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna just go buy these. <laughs> <laughs> Out of pure anxiety, because I felt like I basically insulted this person. <laughs> I bought them. <laughs> I mean, I like them anyway. I love frogs, so seeing the frog, so buying dice that look like frog spawn. I have a potential little character to build for, um, what are the frog races you can play again? Uh... Um, Bollywogs? No. I think so. Yeah, Bollywogs. I have dice for them. Because <laughs> some people I know, they buy dice for D&D characters that they play, and I'm like, eh. Okay, everyone, I want you to meet one of my favorite dice. Meet Carrie. <laughs> they are white dice with blood splatter on them. I call them, I fondly call them Carrie. <laughs> because I am a huge, I am a fan of that novel, actually. <laughs> Hi, Peaches. Welcome to the Dice Showing Collection. So this is, these are Hi, called, Peaches. these are called Carrie. Because uh, for those who don't know, her dress was white and, you know, the bucket of blood dropped on her. Also, they're... Her name is Carrie White. Carrie White. I'm funny. So I have dice, and I've actually DM'd my, uh, I messaged my DM going, Hey, what are the possibilities of me being able to make a D&D character based off of Carrie White? And then she went, I've never read Carrie. I go, I'm just gonna give you the important parts. <laughs> she, has psycho sci she was basically ra raised in a religious, religiously suppressed build place. And she gained psychic powers, and a bucket of blood was done on, dropped on her head, and she went on a murder spree. It has a lot more subtlety than that, but I'm giving you the cliff notes. Anyway, so that's this set. Okay. Now we get to show off the dice that are that are bags within bags. This bag is within a bag. Oh, I know why it's within a bag. Um, this dice will be shown second to last. The die, singular. Die, die, die. Also, Fib, Peaches says hi. Hi, Peaches! Anyway, so I don't know if I actually gave uh, gave you guys a look at Doom Rock. This is Doom Rock, by the way. It is a white D100. Yes, it is a 100-sided dice. Uh, fun fact about your girl, Cat. I can't read D100 dice worth a damn. Because D100 dices don't have as much... Don't have... Have two different variations, and I can never tell which variation is which, and how to read them are different for both... For the multiple variations. And I was like, I wish I had a 100-sided die. The, uh, the game st the, uh, comic shop where I also buy my Gundam stuff at, they sell these, they were selling these when I was part of Adventures League, and I just bought a D100. Because I was like, because he was, because someone was like, you know they have 100-sided dice. I'm like, what? And I bought one. Because these are fucking easier to read to me than the D100 dice, okay? D100s, which are... Fuck, Fib, what do D100s look like? Uh, they have the... They go from double zero to... Because it's... 90. Two, because the, And then you roll a D10 as well. Yeah. I'm trying to find ones that have... I'm trying to find a D100 set. Uh, this one's a D10, which has a zero on it. That bothers me a lot. I know that means 10, but it bothers me. It bothers me. It bothers me a lot. And that one's still green! And that one's still green! I can't read D100's worth of damage. Okay, here's a D100. This one does the 10's. Right here. And then you're supposed to roll a D10 with it. Uh, and just like... It's annoying for me to read because like... Some do double zero, some do single zero, some do... It's just like... Eh! I have a 100-sided die. 
I so whenever someone tells me you have you have to roll a d100, I just break this fucker out and be like, how can you read it? See that number right on here? Okay, so for those who want to know how to read a d100, you roll it. That was a shit roll. I don't care. And the number that is right on top that's flattest, so this one right here, is the one I would read. So this would be a four. Does everyone understand how to read this? I understand how to read this fucker than I do actual d100 dice. Yeah! <laughs> Fib, look. It's got angry. It's got angry. <laughs> it's got angry. Nah, 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 nah. Sorry. <laughs> I understand. Thank you, the bubble level ding dong. No, it's so weird. So I got this. And um, fun fact, they had a few other colors. And you might be wondering, Kat, why did you buy the white one? I go, it's bone white and it's blood red d colors. Tell me that's not a more of an intimidation factor when you're like, all right. Oh, you're a wild magic sorcerer? Well, so your wild magic's activated. Roll this fucker. <laughs> I mean, that's not a better intimidation tactic. Bean summon, back and mo. All right, now we get to show off the other dice within dice. This is the one I think it is. Ah, oh, yes, it is. Um, zero zeros is a ten. Zero is a single single. single. Yeah, the D one hundred works for me better than a lot than the D one hundred dice. This is. Oh, I almost dropped the dice. Up, oh, ad breaks happening. We're gonna be quiet. Fun fact for those who are listening who are still, who haven't been, who are behind, not behind the, behind the ad wall. I had someone once call this thing the Epcot ball at me, and I go, no, 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 this is the Doom Rock. It is the Doom Rock. Do not call my dice the Epcot ball. And then went into massive details explaining what the shape of the Epcot ball is, which is not like this, contrary to popular belief. Because what it is for the Epcot ball, it is, uh, shapes with, it's shapes that are built with triangles, built on that, built around a sphere. There's an actual term for it. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I know it has the word spheroid at the end. <laughs> a sphere spheroid at the end of the name. But the, de the the Epcot ball does not look like this. Sans and that would be so weird if you if the Epcot ball turned into a D100. That would be the weirdest fucking thing ever, wouldn't it? Says. Yes, it would. I'm just checking. What is this? Is these the metal ones? Feels like the metal ones. Yep, they're the metal ones. I mean, I figured out it was the metal ones just by by just picking up the containers as I hit. Um, okay. It will only cost. Just roll the Epcot ball. It will only cost an amount. It will cost your kidneys. Um. So, three, two, one. Ad is over. Woo! Anyway, now my other dice. These are a set that I really love dearly, and people hate them. Because, okay, when I play as a DM, and I know that I did this as a DM, and when I played in person, sometimes when I had deadly encounters, aka encounters that were definitely going to be a challenge for my players, I would break out these dice. And the other ones would be just used if I have to roll multiple dice for hit points, uh, for uh, damage rolls. But I would break out these little babies. These were the dice that I would use for boss encounters. <laughs> if there was like, if it was like a big boss, we're talking big boss. Big boss. And you want to know why I use these for the big boss encounters? They have skulls in them. Hi, Iro, join! <laughs> um, they have skulls in them. These dice have skulls in them. I use them for deadly encounters in D&D &D when I used to DM. Hello, Iro! How are you doing? I can see you from a distance. I'm making it look like the dice are talking to you. Oh my goodness. Hello. Skull dice, skull dice, skull dice. Yeah. Again, only for <laughs> deadly D&D &D encounters. Or whenever I had to deal with a table that was like, these bosses aren't hard enough. And I'm like, okay, breaks out dragon, breaks out these. Y'all dying. Me? How to play Dungeons and Dragons. Don't play it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I almost just throw these in my bag. So they go in their special little tiny velvet bag. Go back into your little hole. I've been showing off my dice collection after fixing a massive amount of scuff, and then we're going to Kingdom Hearts again, Iroh. We're just gonna be grinding. More dice, more dice, more dice. Anyway, these go back in here. I'm gonna show off, um, another set. See this? See this? I see a, I see a sticker. It just says you're a wizard. 
It came with one of the dice sets. Which dice set? I don't remember. I bought a lot off of Etsy. Um, anyway. It's cute. So this is my very first dice bag, actually. I have one of those on on, on my throne. I want it. I want it's it only so good much, for like four, I want dice. It's only good for like four sets, by the way. There's a reason why that's, I've up. There's a reason why I've upgraded. <laughs> that's that's fine. Um, most of the dice sets that I uh, also have. Um, holy fuck! Hold, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. Big bag. Put it back up there. I want to see it better. Come on. <laughs> I bought this off Etsy when this thing was too small. I was like, I need a bigger dice bag. It's pretty! Oh yes, it's space themed. That's why I bought it. It's from the Ukraine, I fun it. fact. <laughs> I, lo I love it. It's so pretty. Yeah. So, um... Fun fact! I got the... So this dice bag was getting too full. I needed a bigger one. Bought the bigger space one. <laughs> I bought the bigger one. And then I said the phrase, and my mom overheard me saying it, going, This dice bag needs more dice! And she's like, oh no. <laughs> but, um, a, a lot of the dice sets that I have on my throne also have uh, a bunch of dice bags to go with them. Yeah, a lot of people who I sell dice do that now. That's why I have, uh... See? That's why. Oh, Sleeping Mountain Gaming. Which dice set were you from? I forgot. Anyway, so... These are the ones that Codex of Memory bought, which I can't use unless I can't use at any public table unless I have my dice tray with me for one reason and one reason only. They're fucking metal. <gasps> These are my only metal dice I own. I want to own more. Are they the color changing ones? No, they're not. I have the yeah. I do have the color changing metal dice on my throne. If anyone wants to buy me more dice for my dice collection slash addiction, my so throne is I. over. Uh, so, so I have dice on my throne too. I need dice. I need click clack meth dice. I need I need the big uh, the, the, the pretty click clackies. I need the. I need the best them thing so is bad. if you have ADHD and you can't decide on things, just get a set of dice. It helps you so much. You picked them out. I know I picked them out. You just bought them off my throne. Didn't realize that they were metal at the time. I don't think. No, I did know they were metal at the time because I never owned a set of metal dice. So I put a few metal dice sets on there. Um, so these are metal. They're heavy. And fun fact, if you do D&D &D at, like, Adventures League or in a public place or, you know, at a friend's house, this is just a common courtesy. Buy a fucking dice tray because these are known to dent tables. Not this specific set because this specific set actually files off the corners, as you can see. They filed off the, the corners are not pointed. But a lot of metal dice are known to dent tables. Hence why you need a dice tray. I have one. My plushies are currently sitting on it. <laughs> and I did not want to disturb them. <laughs> hey. Yes, Ira. I, have, I, I think I have a dice tray <laughs> on my throne as well. I don't know. Anyways. Anyway. So here's... Nice to it. Yay. Anyway, here's the only die... I own also a gemstone dice. I have never used it in a campaign. <laughs> give, 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 give pretty, pretty give. Fun fact, when I was doing my throne, I thought I had the full set on there on my throne. I did not. I only had the D6 on my throne. I forgot to change what, what version I wanted. That was my bad. I'm not mad at that. I, I actually do have this set on my throne again, but it's hella expensive and they keep selling out. Um, awesome. Fun fact, uh, Survivor bought this dice for me. Because for... uh -huh. I think Vire also thought it was the full set, but it's cool. I don't use this D6 often. I don't often use D6s now that I think about it. What? Bib. Forever DM. What classes use D6 a lot for damage rolls? Barbarian, I think. No, Barbarian uses D uses D12s. The running gag is D12s are only used by Barbarians. Jared? Uh, Rogues use D6s. I just remembered Sneak Attack is 3D6. Yeah. Yeah, Codex just said Rogues. Yeah. Which also, since I think Fib's AFK, because yeah. Fib didn't say anything when I showed up. <laughs> also... Also, you know it has to happen. What? Peaches is in chat. It has to happen. What? Peaches, 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 peaches. Sorry, peaches. You know the rule. I swear. We gotta figure out a way to basically. I need a peaches button. I need a peaches button. We need to. We need to make one. We'll make one later. Anyway, so this is Leoporidite. Yeah, Leoporidite. If anyone's curious what the gem is made out of, if Geo was here, Geo Verde, I need you here to talk about your Leoporidite knowledge. <laughs> He's not here. He's in California. Wait, um, what? Yeah, Geo Verde lives in the West Coast. 
That's why doing collabs with him is a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So that means I have more of a chance of possibly meeting you. Possibly. Because I'm over in this area too. Oh, yeah. so Sunfish! Hello, Sun Sunfish! Sunfish! <laughs> peach! That's a peach. Yummy. Oh, I want a peach. I have nectarines, not peaches. My mom got fruit. I thought they were peaches. I was like, Peach, why are you lacking fuzz? Mom goes, Nectarine, honey. Still eats it. <laughs> anyway, so this is made out of Leoporodite, by the way, if anyone's curious. It's my gemstone. Um, It's my one. It's funny. I have the metal dice. I got the gemstone dice. I have the handmade dice. I got like every dice covered. And I mentioned that to a guy who was selling dice at this local sci-fi fair. Because there's a guy, he basically works the, uh, he works the, uh, 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 the Ren there's Fair a... circuit. He works the Ren Fair circuit, but, like, when this local fair happens, it's during his downtime. And he has a table, and he sells, like, you know, dice and other D&D fancies at this fair. It's a nerdy convention. It can happen. And I made the, he, he saw me looking at the dice, and he was trying to sell me the metal ones. I go, I already got a metal set. He was like, oh, okay. And then he looked. And, he's, and then I was like, I want trying to find a new set. And he goes, he's trying to sell me. I'm like, got that one. Got that one. Not my type. Already own a metal set. <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. And then he looks at me and he goes, do you own a set of wooden dice? I go, I do not. <laughs> I'm like, dice can be made out of wood. <laughs> oh, confetti's yes. broken. Confetti's broken again. <sighs> it sounds like I just have to redo everything. Beep. Bot the hell you Oh no, Vire is actually reading through Biku Bot right was reading through the Biku Bot notes and is basically trying to figure out is trying to figure it out and it's slowly starting to sound like it's clear I just need to redo Biku Bot all over again. It would be oh, easier. Man. It's basically it's having issues finding the source. Even though the source is there. Oh, okay. It's weird. Anyway, last dice of the collection! What are you? Go back in there. <laughs> I I, I have a, a dice set that I want to get. It's got rubber duckies in the center of them. Uh, uh fun fact. Uh, so these dice are made by smoking glue guns. Uh, fun fact. My mom bought these at a convention she was at that I was also at. Um... They're very and smoking glue, gu glue guns. If you ever remember this dice set, which had plastic babies in it, uh huh. She made those. <laughs> or the bean oh. dice. She makes cur She also makes cursed concept dice. And my mom's like, she makes such pretty dice. Why does she make the cursed ones? And I said, you're going because it brings in views, mom. It brings in customers. Oh, is that a two? It is a two. It is a two. It is a D two. It's a coin. You flip it. Heck yeah. I have not seen a, a D2 in a dice set in a while. And this is the uh, crystalline version of a D4. So you have the Caltrop version, which is this one. And some people have issues reading these. I completely understand. Ow, that thing hurts! I forgot you hurt me! <laughs> <laughs> so there was another version of the D4, which is called the crystal version, which is used by a lot of mm -hmm. dice makers as well. So people who might have oh. issues reading these dice can read these instead. That's the other use. They're caltrops. No, these are homemade caltrops that are filed. They hurt. The sh edges are <laughs> sharp and pointy. Anyway, so this was the set. My mom basically yelled me over to be like, you need to come to this table. I go, why? I need to buy you your birthday present. I go, okay, see, that's smoking glue guns. These are custom. Uh, that's her uh, logo right, right there. Um, and she originally was going to show. And so she showed me these dice. Mm -hmm. And um, so fun fact. Mm -hmm. And the funny story will happen to say. Show me these dice. I really like them because they're black, they're purple, they're, you know, they're my colors. Um, she bought them and I took them. And then so I showed the dice to someone I was hanging out with at a convention. And they go, I didn't know you were ace. I go, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. These, uh -huh. are, these are technically ace flag dice. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, this is why I wish Fire was here. Because I've mentioned the story to Fire a few times. and I so, so, so these are like... I don't think they are actually ace flag dice. It's just the colorations look very similar. But I really like these dice. I have never really used these at table because uh, the year after I bought these, um, mm -hmm. COVID happened. <laughs> oh, so, well. sorry. The year after my mom got these for my birthday, COVID happened. So I never have really used them at a table. They've been just saying this cute little lovely lace sachet. 
which stays in my bag. And those are all my dice. Um, Smoking Glue Guns, who I highly recommend, because she's actually been work. She did work on a set of Kingdom Hearts dice. Oh. And she does custom orders. And she did, you know, she did the standard like stained glass. She did a D twenty, was a big chunk of hers, and it had the stained glass Sora, and there was the Riku one, oh. and there was and there was the Riku one as well. And I asked, "Have you ever considered doing the Organization 13? And she goes, "I thought about it, but she's like, I would make that more of a custom order." And I'm sitting here going, and I actually shit you not, rush to her website. Uh, Nathan, don't buy AliExpress dice. Nathan, don't. Don't buy AliExpress dice. Don't buy dice. Don't buy anything from AliExpress. In period, AliExpress quality is like garbage, and it's never good. Just, just don't. Um, yeah. Nope. Hold on a second. I'm just turning off the phone camera. There we go. Turn that off. We are adjusting now. I understand you want to buy dice, but don't buy from AliExpress. The quality is always garbage. It's gonna most likely be, you know, bleh. I'm saving you from heartbreak. I'm saving you from heartbreak. If you're gonna have to buy cheap pre-made di cheap dice, go Chessex and pray to God you don't get unlucky like me and get a bubble one. Hold on a second. I'm just uh, adjusting everything back to normal. Give me a second. Back behind the scenes. Custom $10 drone. Bullshit, you know this. Um... So yeah, I do not recommend AliExpress for dice buying. I don't recommend Wish.com. I don't recommend... I never recommend Timu or Shiatchin, Shine, whatever that company's called now. Um, Hold on, I'm doing some adjustments. See, this is why I also need a new desk, so I don't have to do yoga once I'm done with freaking doing a f hand stream. 